Hi, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Uh, come to you. This is Tag Tuesday, so I come to you with a tag. Um, I was watching a BookTube video and saw uh, the reread book tag that Jason did over at Byways and Bookland, and uh, he tagged me in that. And um, it was originally done by Ross at Scally Dandling about the books, and uh, I thought this was a pretty good tag. Um, I think it could allow for a lot of discussion on you know rereading books and so I wanted to put my my two cents in and I'll leave the link to both of their videos down in the description below and leave the questions and everything but um, again Jason thank you for thank you for tagging me so uh, let's go ahead and get started on this uh, number one let's assume you do reread if you're doing this tag so where do you sit on the rereading scale from almost never to all the time? Um, I would put myself, especially as I get older, um, maybe somewhere in between. Um, almost never, I, mean, I can throw that one out, but I don't do it all the time. And, and one of the reasons I don't do it all the time is just simply because I'm a slow reader and um, I have a lot of books to get to you know, that I've, that I've bought and I want to get those read and if I'm rereading the the same ones over and over again, then I'll never get to them. But I do reread books, um, and when I when I do it, when, when I when I do it, it's typically fiction books. I don't typically reread my nonfiction. I refer back to them, but I don't read the whole book again. I only go back to the sections that that I know um, you know that I need for my discussion or for for my class at school or whatever. Um, it's usually fiction books that I reread. So I'm kind of somewhere in between. I, I do reread them, but I don't do it necessarily all the time. Um, I know Jason was talking about, uh, I think he said like 50% of his readings now are all are rereads. And um, I'm not that high. I do reread, but I'm not that high. Uh, number two, has that changed over your reading life? And yes, for me it has changed. Um, I never used to reread because... Um, basically my my inventory of books was that, that I had read was not very big but as I get older and I find more titles that I like I tend to do more rereads it you know it adjusts as I get older and um, I still find that um, well actually let me let me hold on a second because this goes with question number three so question number three when do you reread Maybe immediately after finishing a book or not till years later or when the mood strikes you. Um, I reread, it's usually maybe a couple years later. I don't do it, I, Jason was talking about back-to-back uh, -back reading. I've never done that, like read the book and then turn around and read it again. Um, I've, I've never done that. I think Steve Donahue talks about he, he does that when he's reviewing books. You know, he'll read it two, three times. Um, as he's putting together a review, I, as I said, I read entirely too slow to do that. Um, so I don't do that, but I do come back and reread. And it's usually, um, you know, when the mood strikes and I just want, you know, a good fiction book. Um, or, um, and, and it's usually a, a later down the line because, like, I, I tilted the camera up on purpose because you'll see up here I've got my favorite authors that I like to reread and I think this is going to go in with some of the other questions but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go through a whole series so I got John Grisham up here and I'll start at his first book and then throughout a two-year period maybe maybe three sometimes you know depending on how much I'm reading um, I'll go through every single one of his books and then um, I'll do the same thing with the Kent Family Chronicles of John Jakes and I'll go through all of those books um, Michael Crichton's books I'll go through those if the mood strikes his is more when the mood strikes but um, that's that's when I reread and, and a lot of times if I get into a reading slump with my nonfiction where I just I, I get to where I feel like my, my wheels are spinning in mud that's a lot of times when I go back to my favorite fiction books and I'll just have a you know I'll have an afternoon where I'll just sit and read something that I don't necessarily have to remember every single thing for class or you know it's not a serious read. Um, number four, why do you reread books? Because I like them. 
it's uh I don't know. I just like the story. It's entertaining. I I enjoy it. I always, you know, in the in previous videos I've talked about it's it's much like when I was younger and I'd sit on the couch with my dad on a Saturday afternoon and he would watch those John Wayne movies over and over and over again and you knew what was going to happen. You could quote most of the lines, but you still watch it. You know, I can think of Big Jake. That was a that was a uh, really good one. The Shootist. That was a good John Wayne movie. You know, and I could keep going on and on. You get the point. Y you watch them because you enjoy it. And and uh, my my books up here that I, you know, that I'm talking about that I read. It's it's much like those old western movies. You know, I I just like them. And you know, if I want something really fast to read that, like I said, I don't have to necessarily think really hard on. Uh, I go back to those books. I, I just enjoy them. Now, I don't do that with books I don't like, obviously. I get rid of those books. But, uh, you know, if I keep a fiction book, it is with the purpose and the idea that I am going to come back and reread it sometime in the future. So these books, these, you know, these authors, I'll come back. It's, it's every three years or so I'll go through the one author, all his books, or the other author, all of his books. Um, let's see here. Number, number five. How do you reread? Faster, slower, just the best bits? Well, I reread the whole book, first of all. I don't just read just a little bit. I reread the whole book, and typically I'm able to go through it faster just because I know the storyline. Um, yeah, it, it usually goes a little bit faster, and I enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't reread it. Uh, number six, who or what do you reread more specifically? Uh, which authors or genres or individual books? Okay, so um, who do I reread? I like John Grisham. I've shared that many times on this channel. That's one of my rereads. Uh, I come back to his books all the time. Uh, John Jakes, I love his stuff. I come back to that. Michael Crichton, I come back to that. Um, those are Those are my... If, if I had like a big three, those are my big three that I love to come back to and read. I also read Dan Brown. I'll come back. I don't read him as often. Um, I found that I don't necessarily like his as much the second or third time that like I do these. I still like these. And, and it's not that I don't like the Dan Brown ones. I just, they, they don't read as fast the second and third time like these do. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, anyway, um, number six, who or what do you reread? Well, oh, excuse me, I just did that one, didn't I? Um, number seven, is there a book that you found better when you reread it? And yes, and uh, some of you agree and some of you disagree with me, but um, John Jakes, let's see, right, right there. Kent Family Chronicles, Volume 1. I will refrain from saying the actual title of the book. I don't want to, uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to re repeat the title of the book, but Volume 1 of the Kent Family Chronicles. Um, I enjoy that more and more every time I read it, and I've read it a number of times. Um, it's, it's one of my all-time favorite books. Uh, and then number eight, and one that was worse, Okay, so this was weird because I read, um, and many of you may have read these, the Dana, Dana Fuller Ross series, uh, the 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 Holt family, they they were wagon wagons west. That's what it was, the wagons west series. I absolutely loved it. There's 24 books in the series, and they're like a western historical fiction western type book. And um, I loved reading them. I absolutely loved them the first time around. And I went back and tried to read at least the Independence, the first book in the series. I tried to read that one a second time. I did not like it nearly as much. Now, I need to go back and try again and you know go through the whole series because if I don't end up liking them, I need to get rid of them and get them off the shelf because they take up quite a bit of space. But um, I found I didn't like them like I do you know these books up here. And so um, not that they're bad. I just didn't like them as much. So, um, number nine, which one book have you reread the most times? Um, 
is probably that one right there, Volume 1, Camp Family Chronicles, or the John Grisham, uh, the early John Grisham books, they could probably rank up there as well. I've read A Time to Kill several times. I love that book. Um, uh, matter of fact, that's that, that's awesome because in October he's coming out with the sequel to it finally after forever, 25 years or whatever it's been. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been quite a while since he wrote that book. Well, it'll be over 30 years since he's wrote that book. Um, I've, re I've reread A Time to Kill several times and uh, I've enjoyed it every time. And so I'm real excited about that next one because I'm sure it's going to be a reread. And I've gotten to where I also read, oh, where is it? Um, Skipping Christmas. I've been trying to read that every Christmas because it's just a fun book. I don't think it's quite on camera. It's off to the side over here. But um, it's just a fun book for Christmas time. Makes me laugh. And I always think back to the movie uh, with Tim Allen. And I just get to chuckling. Um, so anyway, that is my... Um, my book tag for today, the reread book tag. Uh, again, I was tagged by uh, Jason at Byways and Bookland, and I'll put the link to his video. Uh, go out and check his out. It was he had some really good stuff to say about rereads. I, I thoroughly enjoyed his his uh, his video. And then originally it was done by Ross at Scalidandling about the books, and I'll put that link down below. So anyway, thank you, BookTube, for watching. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're uh, getting a lot of great reading in in these waning days of uh, summer as the summer's winding down. Um, so until next time, have a great day.